Hello everyone and welcome in another update about the KineFX tools. If you are first time here and you don't know what the KineFX tools are, they, you can find them on uh, GitHub. It's a free repository where you can find lots of helpful, useful HDAs and some scripts which will help you out with the rigging. You can also use it for learning purpose. You can find lots of ways how you know you can do some rigging stand, etc. etc. But before Without further ado, let me show you what I'll be talking today. And today I will show you space switching. Lots of people ask about it, how the space switch can be done. And I can show you a super easy way with the new addition to the KineFX tools, which is space switch node. Okay, so here we have um, Frog, which you probably have seen before in some previous videos. And I did a very simple animation here. Here I'm moving a root control. And I'm basically just translating it and rotating it. And then I'm moving, then I'm rotating basically hip control. And that's it. So what I want to do in this example, I want to have a space switch between um, for, for this uh, foot IK control. And I want to have a space switch between the main control, hip control, and let's say root. And this whole workflow is non-destructive and super you know, like elastic and etc. So it's easy to add the new spaces, remove spaces, etc. So I will show you how the node works. So let's jump to it. Um, let's jump into a rig. And here I have a rig for a leg. So this is a right leg and this is a left leg. And I'm not gonna go into details how the rig is done. That's maybe I'm gonna do in other videos and etc. But you know, I will show you how to set it up this specific space switching. So here I have my controls. This is um, basically nodes or controls or joints which you basically want to switch the space for them. In that case, I want to do a space switching for my IK controls. And you also need some parents. And the parents, I'm going to use the output from my skeleton blend. And I'm just going to use some main join, etc. So let me just visualize it to you. Firstly, by creating a space switch node, space, space switch node, you can find it in the latest uh, tools update. So first input, we are connecting uh, um, controls, which we basically want to, um, you know, have a space switch for it, joints or controls, doesn't matter how you call it, it's the same thing, it's just a transform. And the second input, we're connecting a parent. And basically that's it. That node is super versatile. It's super easy to use. So here we need to specify which joint we will basically do a space switch for. So let's uh, do a display and we can see our leg here. And let's click on that cool arrow and let's choose the ankle IK control. So as you can see on the video, I hopefully you can see is this control here in an ankle and that control is control for my whole IK chain. So you all basically would like to have a space, you know, you would like to have a space switch between it, you can have it between a wall, you can have it between the root, and etc. etc. So after choosing it, let's hit an enter, and we have our you know name of our control specified here in the name attribute. So that's pretty cool. And now you basically need to specify, you know, you're just adding how many space switches you would like to have. So I would like to have a three, as I told you. So the space names is the name of a space which will be used as a display. So it's a dis descriptive um, thing. It will be also displayed in the menu here. So the first name will be uh, hip, let's say. And now we need to choose a joint, which we would like to um, you know, use it as a space, which is super easy. We can just click the arrow. Here you need to choose the second input network, which you would like to have a pickup. And actually we can choose it even in the viewport. We just choose a hip. Is that a hip? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a hip joint. We can hit and enter and we have a hip joint here. The second space, we want to have a root. Let's choose the right join name. Um, I'm just going to type it because I know the join names, but it's a, it's a joint basically um, above the hip joint. And that doesn't really matter. And I have a main Main in this case, it's a one, it's actually a joint. I'm gonna show it to you. It's a join on the top of the hierarchy. Is that joint here? And that joint is moved with the, like a one main control. You can treat it as a world, 
I would say. It's just for like, uh, you know, learning purpose or something like that. So it doesn't really matter right now. So I'm gonna choose the main drain. So that's it. Here you have your setup, up your space switch. That's all what you need. So let me show you how it work. As you remember, we had that animation, right? With a hip and a, you know, that's with the root and then is a hip animation, etc. Um, and let's, to switch the spaces, let's just say we just wanna switch to the main. And now you can see our, you know, like foot control stays where it was with the, basically the main control. This is where the space switches and everything else is moving as it's supposed to. Let's say we wanna switch it to a root. So, you know, everything follows the hip except the rotation for a hip. That's super cool. Um, another super cool addition is that you can specify what channels will be basically used for space switching. You can just have a two space switches. You just stack them up one on top of each other. You can have a one space switch just for a translation. And, you know, you just do it like this. And you can have um, another space switch just after, just for rotation. So your animator can have a choice like, yes, I want to have a translation uh, based on this space and rotation based on this space. So that's totally supported by that. Let me just show you quickly uh, last thing that, um, you know, just to demonstrate you if we're just gonna leave, let's say, scale and rotate. So they currently, um, they currently, let's say, we will keep, uh, maybe we'll keep a translation with the main. So our feed will stay where it is, but it will follow rotations of the hips basically yeah that's what we were expected but you can see that the the translation of it it's as it is so just a few technicalities because lots of guys really likes it and just guys ask how things are done and you know the coolest part about the hidden you can dive in and you can see how things are done and they're super simple and i'm putting those examples so you can basically go and um explore on your own and learn so there, everything's within the VEX, so if you're really interested, you can see how to do basic matrices transformation with VEX, which is super useful with rigging and etc. We are using some commands from KinFX um, library of uh, VEX functions. So go and have a look, you can also find them, you can have a look at them, you know, how it's written, etc. So I think that'll be a good starting point for you. And because it's written in VEX, that it's really fast, so we don't have any Python here. And I think this is super important for lots of you guys because lots of you guys have been struggling quite a lot with some speed issues. And let me just show you one last thing. So when we have our space with done, uh, let's um, expose that con that uh, attribute to, sorry, that parameter to our controls. So let's add something on top of our rig quickly. We have a here controls. Maybe I'm just gonna go uh, do a type properties. Let's just choose another folder. It's just like uh, maintaining and just make it uh, nice and clean. Let's call it um, space switch. Switch um, cool. That's it. Let's just apply. One second. Let's just accept it. Cool, I'll just save it quickly so I wouldn't lose it if anything happens. Um, that's fantastic. Let me just open a type property. Sorry, I shouldn't close it. Um, let's dive in. And this is our space switch here. And we can just go and let's minimize this. And let's move our space switch here. Fantastic. And let's call it L um, leg IK. Um, SWC for switch, however you call it, doesn't really matter. Uh, L leg IK switch, for example. And let's click apply and accept. And yeah, you can of course set the, the key on it and etc. So let's just change the visibility to our last node. Here you go. I'm just gonna go to our primitives view and goes up. And you know, you can see it here, yeah. Everything's now it's uh, connected to the hip, but let's just change it to a root. And now you can see, like, yeah, it's following the root, you know, translation, rotation, but it doesn't follow any hip transformation. Let's change to the main, and you know, it stays where it is.
There's one thing which will be coming in with latest with later updates, it will be a snapping. So basically after switching a space, I will add some additional functionality that you know you wouldn't you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a snap. Basically, it will stay where it was. And that's it. So thank you so much guys for all the um, um, support, all the comments and everything. If you really like what I'm doing and you're finding it useful or valuable, please um, you know go on a coffee website which you can uh, find it here on the bottom of the screen or in the description and it's a website where you can basically just uh, support my work if you like it you can just buy literally a coffee so I can uh, keep running and doing those videos and those tools for you guys so thank you so much for your support I really appreciate that and any you know any any support is uh, very welcome it helps me to basically, you know, separate some time and do some great tools. There's lots of great stuff coming in, uh, which I'm using in the production, but I can't really share that much right now. But, you know, as much as I have uh, resources, I will definitely put more and more great stuff. So it's, you know, it's for you guys. So if you guys can do us some support and share some love and coffee, that would be fantastic. So thank you so much and see you in the next video and next update.